so this is the lesson planner it's undated so you can get it at any time and whenever you start your school year at the bottom it says educate empower encourage inspire when you open it up right away you can put your name here there's a nice encouraging quote when your lessons do not go according to plan use the lemons to make lemonade in other words adjust be flexible and use what children are interested in to create teachable moments what am i talking about that was that is the inspiration of our latest lesson planner in this video i'm going to show you a quick flip through of how lesson planning doesn't have to be a headache or overwhelming but it actually should be fun and exciting so make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I'll be sharing some key lesson planning tips and hacks that you do not want to miss. Let's get right into the flip through of this lesson planner. And I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, so if you're new here and you love tools and tips for children, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But um, so yep, so then you go to the information page. So whether you are a teacher or a home educator, you can put your information here or any other places, groups or organizations that you're a part of, you can put that there. The next page is your password tracker. I know if you have lots of websites or just lots of things you're involved in, you can keep track of all of that here. Then you have your mission and vision page. This is really good for the days that you may need a reminder of why you're doing what you're doing. As you guys know, as teachers and educators, we have days like that. <laughs> and that's why you need a good support system so you can put your name, their name, their role, their phone numbers, their information. Um, and then also, on this page, you have other books and tools, social media accounts, things that help you um, with teaching. Um, then also there's teaching tools, like you can list out things that you really loved or just things that you bought this year, like where did you get it? When did you get it? If you liked it, yes or no. <laughs> and then you can put your class roster there. And then here's year at a glance. So no matter when you get this planner, you can start your year wherever you wanna start it. And then it goes into the 12 months of planning. So you just put the date there each month and then you have your notes. Then it begins again with the quote that I said at the beginning. And so just some encouraging words here. And then at the bottom it says, on the days you feel like giving up, go to the last page of this book. And then you also can put your favorite quote on this page. So each week, you would put your objectives. So what are the goals you want your children or those children in your class to learn that week? Any key things that's gonna be happening, your to-do list, your notes, and then a breakdown of each day. So you would write the week of, um, you can break it up by time or by subject and just key activities that you wanna make sure that you get to that day. And there's even a section for Saturday and Sunday. I know for me, I'm a Sunday school teacher too. So jotting, having that section is super helpful. Or if you have events going on and then you have your notes. And so this planner um, goes, it repeats each week like that. Um, and then that goes on for a whole 52 weeks. Um, which is really cool, especially if you do summer school or if you have camps or things that you teach at in the summer. Um, and so then at the end of the planner is your yearly reflection. What went well? What were the challenges? And then ideas for next year. And then um, there's also a place at, on the last page of the book for the days that you feel like giving up. And these are just a bunch of encouraging quotes like, you matter, you're making a difference, you're not failing, pray, you were chosen to do this, don't give up, the children need you, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4, 13. So this, journey, this um, planner is available on Amazon. Um, this is the Brown Bear Book Club. You can get it here, or if you prefer to have it spiral bound, I will also have it uploaded to the TPT store, so you can also get it there as well to print out if you prefer a binder instead. Your lesson plan is not a comprehensive detailed curriculum. Your lesson plan is what is the big idea that I want children in my home or in my classroom to grasp today, on Monday, 
for literacy, what is the one thing I wanna do? Is it read this book? Is the whole objective for literacy for them to retell a story as one of the key objectives or goals? Is it, to the, is it for them to identify the, the, the key character or identify names of people or animals in the story? Identify what that key objective is for each of the developmental domains that you wanna focus in on. Maybe you're not gonna focus in on all of them every week, but maybe you have key ones that you want to focus in on. And so in your lesson plan, you wanna zoom in on those key objectives to create meaningful, playful activities for the children in your classroom or in your home. Another key thing is it should be exciting. So, you know, if, you, if there's a skill, like let's just say you're trying to encourage the children to count to 20, you know, be, think beyond just the worksheet. Jot down the big idea. Maybe the big idea is counting to 20, but maybe every time you go to the bathroom, we're gonna count how many steps. Let's make some elephant stumps or some hopping leaps like frogs to count to 20. So don't think it has to be this comprehensive curriculum when you lesson plan. It can be short, concise, and simple. So think about your lesson planning being simple. The last step to lesson planning is jotting down what worked and what didn't. And one thing in this lesson planner is that there's a page with the notes for you to jot down what's happening, like did this work out or did this not work out, and some ideas that you can put in there for the next week's lesson plan or even the next day. Um, another key thing is there's a week at a glance page that you wanna make sure that you're jotting down, you're looking at your week a week before so you know what's ahead and you don't feel left behind um, or scattered brain on Monday like what's going on? So make sure you use the calendars, use the to-do list, use the notes to create an amazing, simple lesson plan. <laughs> so let me know in the chat below what was the favorite part of this lesson plan book that you cannot wait to start using? Or perhaps what are some things that you look forward to doing in your lesson plan or things that you like to um, have in a good lesson plan? Let's talk about it in the chat below. See you guys again next time. Bye guys.